Hey guys, we're coming to you real time. So this is the night. This is what's today, Friday? Yeah, probably the night before you'll see okay. the video. Yeah. Hey, we wanted to check in and let you guys know that we are super safe. Totally fine. The boat's fine. It's been a crazy week uh, getting hit with all the Ida remnants. That'll be a different video, not this video. Um, we ended up reallocating a lot of our editing time to Ida this week, but we didn't want to leave you hanging on a cliffhanger from last week's video with Hurricane Henri, and we also have, we know a lot of you guys have been really worried about us. You've been reaching out. Yeah, I think because we left you on a cliffhanger, especially, and because a lot of you just watch the news and know what's going on, we had pretty much every means possible people reached out to us, text message, phone calls, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, we had people reaching out. So thank you. That's awesome. We feel super loved and cared about. We've been about. To keep everybody updated, yeah. but we know a lot of you guys look just at YouTube, so... This is your update. So here's your update. Beginning of the video, we are safe, we're happy, we're well. And this video you're about to watch is going to cap uh, Henri, which we say wrong multiple times in the video. <laughs> we never like heard anybody else say yeah, it. Yeah, we, we just, just read, read it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be this video. Um, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, important note, we ended up reallocating. Did I already say this? Yes. Okay. This is a really, really raw video, so it's a cool opportunity, I think, you guys get to see... Well, for one, it's not going to be super polished, there's not a lot of music or anything like yeah, how normal no, edits there's are. Yeah, there's hardly no cinematic shots, there's no music. Oh, no, there's... there's cinematic shots, it's just no, like... Oh, they aren't, edit they aren't like, trimmed and cut. Yeah, there's perfect. no there's no fancy editing or frills yeah. on this video, it's just super raw of the event, and it's a very clear window into the editing process. These are the building blocks of how we would normally make and edit our videos, but this is just the raw version. So enjoy it. Um, or not. I mean, it is say, if you do it, if you do enjoy it, maybe we'll do some more like this. of just kind of a little more raw style, but, yeah. uh, it was a pretty raw event either way. On with the video. Okay. So the, the start of this video to fill you guys in, we had motored the boat, sailed the boat all the way up through the Narragansett Bay and into the Kiki, the Kiki... Kiki Muit. Kiki Muit. Kiki Muit. We've had people helping us with that pronunciation this week. Uh, up there into the river, and that is a really good hurricane hole, and we got all anchored, and that's where the last video ended, and then now the hurricane is coming. We are Brett and Jade Evans. We bought a wrecked sailboat at auction, then dedicated the last year to bringing her back to life. Now it's time to transform her into our off-grid floating home. Subscribe and join us as we embark on our greatest expedition yet. It is now just about 7 a.m. It's pretty nasty out here. Looks like everyone's still holding all around us. We've all spun around. A couple times, but it's all looking good. Good morning, Harry Henry. Henry. Hurricane Henry is almost here. The boys are just hanging out, and we <sighs> we're exhausted. We we're up a lot of the night, but. We're kind of just out looking around. The boat next to us, their snubber failed. Everybody seems a little shuffled. We're a little disoriented about how it should be. So we're kind of just looking. I feel like one of one of these things is not like the other. We're trying to figure out which boat dragged. Drug? Draped. Oh, how cute these guys are. We took the bimini down, so we're all hanging out under the Dodger because it started raining. I don't know what time it is. I've been getting up every hour or so. Oh, don't lick my fish. Thanks. And checking on everything. And it's looking good so far. The wind has shifted at least twice. So we've gone all the way around in a circle. And there's still a bird flying. That's a good sign. Somebody around us has dragged. 
possibly us. I don't think it was us. Uh, because several of the boats are a lot closer to each other now. Uh, but so far everything looks good. It doesn't look concerning. Uh, but we are keeping a close eye on a couple boats. Just to be safe. Is that a fat joke? No, it's a you're blue. Beluga, not beluga. Beluga. The whale? Yeah. I'm just gonna go up and check the anchor chain and snubber, make sure everything looks good. The boat behind us snubber has failed, so just want to check ours. We're making blueberry muffins, but we didn't have any milk. So first we're making milk out of oats. <laughs> Some oat milk action up here, because we're millennials. And, and we don't have any cows on board. <laughs> we, we forgot to bring our cow. So we're making some, <laughs> we're making some oat milk. I'm making whatever these are called. Cupcake tins, cups. But we don't have any, so I'm making them out of parchment paper and tin foil. I think considering our use of oat milk instead of regular milk, tapioca instead of an egg, and didn't we replace something else? Oh, raspberries instead of blueberries. <laughs> considering all of those things, these are delicious. Very Finishing up the edit for this week's episode. I just went outside and was looking and we are all getting blown. We're all just like twisting and we're all starting to rotate a little bit. So I looked at the, um, the wind map right now and we're just entering the peak. So right now it is blowing about 30 mile an hour gusting to about 40. And over the next three hours, it's going to peak out at about 30 mile an hour sustained gusting up to 50. And then, uh, and then in about three hours, it'll start dying back down. So this next three, three and a half hours are like the, the height of it right now. So we're just, we're just entering the dangerous part. I don't know. Just, just entering the shit. The storm. <laughs> the storm is consuming us now. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I mean. We're being eaten by the hurricane. Yep. Can we see the chart? Yep, so this is basically right now. Beautiful. Good thing we had our muffins. That's right. We're ready now. Ready for anything. It's getting a bit crazy out here. We're all starting to get swung around. Wind is definitely picking up. We are just entering the peak wind levels right now. It isn't gonna get much, it isn't gonna get much worse than this, but it will be like this for the next two hours. So, uh, hold on.
toddler boat looking around? Yeah, and Nero is over there sitting out in his stutter. Watching everybody? Yep. He's got like a survival suit on. Does he? I don't know, he might just have a big jacket. I just doesn't want to get wet. I think he just has a big jacket. Maybe a life jacket. I wish the mosquitoes weren't hiding from the hurricane in our boat. Right? Jerks? I mean, smart, but. Just like, at least pay rent. Somebody's walking out on the front of that boat. Oh, yeah? This is nutty. That was nuts. The boat just like went probably 20 degrees. It was a big gust. And everyone else did too, and we all moved the same. So we're all, yeah, we're all, we all moved together. So as long as we all move together, we're good. I'll be honest, I was kind of, oops. I'll be honest, I was kind of underwhelmed with the hurricane. Uh, no longer underwhelmed. Whew. This is uh, getting a lot more interesting. Everyone popped their heads out of their boats. Everyone is kind of outside, peeking around, looking around, seeing what's going on, making sure everyone else is okay. So far, I haven't seen anybody dragging. The wind is shifting around consistently. Like it's, it's not like flip flopping it very much. So no one's really. I don't think anybody's anchors has had to like reset necessarily. Just maybe like spun. So, so far so good, but definitely got my attention. Where is it? Blue boat? Call them on the phone. They're just moving up now and going to sort themselves out. Over. So they, they got the engine on that trying to keep themselves in position, I guess. Got something going on. I can see they're moving. We'll stand by. Butcher, thank you. Sorry, will you tell us what's going on? Um, there's a filming. Yeah. We just heard on the radio, the boat right next to us was talking to another boat saying, hey, this boat is dragging, they're taking action on it, they're trying to fix it. But I didn't hear where that boat was, so I called them and said, hey, where's that boat? And he said, oh, they're off our port side, but their engines are running, they're getting things sorted out. So we're all just kind of on high alert, everyone's kind of watching each other, making sure everyone's doing good. And it sounds like everything's fine, but definitely, uh, keeping a close eye on everything. We are spinning so much. Like a top.
Or maybe they went up work. Maybe they tied it off. The storm has almost completely passed at this point. It's been pretty calm, almost eerie, honestly, but it's all quiet again. Thought I'd show you. Brett's finally asleep. He stayed up all night. He was so worried he couldn't sleep. We were gonna take shifts, but every time it was my turn to be awake, he also was awake. So I'm glad though. He definitely takes care of the boat and takes care of us. And I'm glad the storm is over enough now that he can finally sleep because dude's exhausted. I am just finishing up an edit on a video. Played my cello for a little bit. That was a good time hanging out made some lunch not much to report here other than I think we've survived the storm at least it looks like it um, later this afternoon sometime tomorrow morning we might get the other end of it so we kind of got the eastern side of the storm and it's gonna wrap around and come north of us so we might get the southern side of the storm tomorrow morning but I don't think it'll be nearly like what it was today so, oh yeah all good things we are now in the calm after the storm it's not bad anymore. It's only maybe 10 knots of wind, gusting maybe 15, and that wasn't too bad, honestly. There was one boat that dragged anchor that we know of. Um, it was all kind of the hustle and bustle on the radios, and a couple of deans went out and helped out, and they got it all sorted. Um, that was about the extent of the drama. We picked a really good place to be and we were super protected. We didn't have any waves, like hardly at all. And the wind wasn't bad. Every, everything went really well. I'm very pleased with our new anchor. It held like a rock and we never, we ended up getting spun just over 180 degrees and you would never know it. Um, so yeah, I, I am very happy with how it went. We're gonna get a little bit more wind tomorrow, just kind of as everything goes past, we'll kind of get the tail end of the swirls as it goes by, but um, for the most part, it's over. Uh, we'll definitely stay alert and aware of what's going on, just because there could be surges or there could be other stuff that we just, we don't know about on its way here. But, um, so yeah, so we'll stay hungered down for a couple more days here in this hole, just to make sure we're safe, make sure everything's good to go. We did hear on the news that there are about 100,000 people on land without power. Could be worse. We're on our boat, we just had dinner, and we're editing videos. Life is honestly pretty normal for us. It's just kind of another day. What do you think? Okay. How's your first hurricane on board? No problem. Let's do it again next week. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually been quite the day. We started making TikToks just to kind of keep people updated in real time and our TikToks ended up trending and we just like blew up on TikTok like crazy all day. It's been like super fun. Uh, but other than that, like that's the only thing special about the day other than a lot of wind and little bit of drama with somebody dragging anchor, but for the most part, it's just hanging out. Follow us on TikTok. <laughs> the hurricane is over, so obviously the only thing to do is celebrate with banana pancakes. Definitely. We are both so exhausted. We have worked all day. We stayed up all night. We pretty much haven't stopped. We sailed so much. We've got it. We've been running for a while, so we're going to eat these pancakes. Do you want to go straight to bed? Do you want to watch a movie first? I'm like too tired to hold the camera. I'm going to set you guys on the table. Yeah, I'm too hungry to not eat my pancakes. Thanks for watching, you guys. I don't know if this is the end of the episode because I'm too tired to think about what footage we filmed and if it's enough for an episode. That's where we're at right now. But if I this is the end. do know, I do know that we 
have lasted through the storm. It wasn't so bad. I feel like it was a really good learning experience. I really loved being able to see the boating community come together and help each other out. It was really a cool thing to see. It really felt like this tight-knit community with all these people that we don't know. And just, you know, we're boat neighbors. We're in this together. We're in the storm together. And that was a really neat experience. We are so glad that we got our bigger anchor. Um, like seriously, having the Excel anchor on the boat, it didn't budge a single inch the entire storm. We had oh, 50 knot, 50 mile per hour, 45 knot-ish gusts, and we were solid the entire time. It gave us so much peace of mind, and I like, so glad it cleared customs in time for the hurricane. <laughs> we didn't know there was a hurricane coming. We just knew that we wanted a bigger anchor just in case, and that was a really good decision because you can't really plan for this kind of thing, so. But you can plan, and that's what we did. And we're glad we had the big ring. Okay, I'm gonna eat my pancakes. Mine are always on.